Peace to the culture. Welcome to Culture Talk. We have a very special guest today, Josh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have big man in the building. Yeah, intellectual big T. Welcome to Culture Talk. Thank you for having me. Tell us about your album. We have been anticipating it for forever. <laughs> <laughs> Detox. <laughs> okay. Let's okay. hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's not forever since we're finally here. This is your first. First. Yeah. I never dropped an album before De- now. Debut. <laughs> first album. Yes. First yeah. album. Okay. But you, you. Okay. Yeah. I think so. But you, now your first project. Yeah. I had so many projects. Uh, not many. Uh, I have like uh, two albums I recorded in Abuja some years back i did a project of about uh, 12 tracks with mccoyo wow recorded i shot one video from that same album and everything but i was looking at my strength uh because i was thinking i was in position and ready to release the album and push it at the same time unfortunately for me financially i was not ready and that was how i was not able to release that album and when i thought i was ready when I was ready to release the album, and um, I told myself that generations of music keep changing. So I told myself that those tracks were not ready to compete with what was on ground then. Because I was thinking of the trade trending and everything. So that's how I condemned the album. I still have it, and I don't intend to drop it. Maybe in the future, I will... V- you would do visit. like a lost tape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something like that. But I've never visited anything from that album again. Uh, wow. Do, do you think it's a great idea? Looking at the fact that music changes with time. So leaving an album that you've done for so long, and then you release it later in the future. He, he, he said he's not actually uh, sure he's going to visit it again. And I'm not sure he, if I'm going to visit okay. it again, but if the need arises, I might. Okay. <laughs> That's why I say a lost tape. Yeah, okay. You I think that's the right word. Lost. Yeah, he could decide to do a lost tape like Nas did. You know, uh I think uh I think that is the culture of doing um the the deluxe or what is it they call it, the songs that didn't make it to the main album, then you get to put it like out. afterwards. Nas did like a lot of songs for your project and he didn't get to put it out because they didn't make it to the album. Okay. And then after so many years, <laughs> he decided to do a tape and call it Lost Tape. So tapes. that's why I was actually related okay, to okay. it. I think that's a very good idea. I might just do something like that in the future, still alive, hoping that. But I'm this person that actually go with the society. Um, in as much as I want to be remembered for what I'm doing, mm. more like a legacy, um, I might, I might not, because I think based on what I perceive. Yeah, in my environment, in my state, in my society, in my nation, in the whole world. Okay, there's a song I have been actually uh, wanting to ask this for a very long time. I I wanted to do it on record. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and uh, Sabon Solo. All right, there's I've I've been in settings, different settings with different people, and they really speak high highly of the song like people really love the song i've been like in uh in kikina pep okay and then they be playing the song like all the time and there was a day i was saying i know the guy that has this record the kk guy didn't actually believe me he didn't believe you yeah how did you actually <laughs> carve that song because <laughs> it seems it's a it's a bit different from the rest of your songs like the style and even how the lyrics is well, I wish I could remember everything about it, but I think um, the chorus of that very song, Savon Solo, mm. speak it all. I was concerned about, um, you know, I, I just said that um, I think based on what I perceive in the environment, yeah. very close to me, what I observe, either close, far, and everything. Everything my attention capture, I try to see how I drop a message to it so I could relate yeah to the society so um sabon solo i just talk about uh the way i see young guys girls behave then even nowadays because the song can see trend today 
Yeah, actually. Even though that song is about, uh, she did be about uh, eight or ten years. Wow. Yeah. So it's, based it's on be, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, actually. it's been a while. It's been a while. It's not a new song. I think Simon Solo is up to, it's more than ten years now. Wow. It's more than ten years. <laughs> what are the type of songs we are expecting on this new project? Okay, this new project uh, consists of a lot of things, but I think my focus on this very project, first and first, the title of the album. Which I don't know if you're gonna ask me though, but um, the title of the album. We're getting to there. Yeah, the title of the <laughs> album itself is "Never Give Up." Oh wow! Yeah, never give up. So just like I said, I don't think outside my cycle. So the type of song we are expecting, um, I'm sending a current existing situation message. First to me to to motivate the youth. And uh, second, to leave a legacy behind because I really want to be remembered for something when I'm gone. Mm. And even when I'm still alive, I want the message I sent to still paste into the minds of people. So it's not just about um, dancing to hit songs, hit song, just hit song, the normal clubbing, bam, bam, bam. No, I'm very good at that. And that is what I'm known for. Mm. But this time around, I'm a little bit diversified. I could refer you to No Food for Lazy Man. Yeah, yeah. First, I thought I was not going to visit that track again. Wow. Now, with the release of the video three weeks ago, I think I, I perceive pressure coming from people mm. very close to me and even some that are a little bit far, insisting that the track should make it to the album. And being the only track that I have currently with a video, yeah. I think it's going to help promote the album. So the message, no food for lazy man, of course. If you walk, you eat, you survive. But yeah. if you think you're going to get it easy, I don't think you can last long, all right, in the realm of hustling. So I think message to current existing situations. Visions, yeah. yeah. So that is the kind of uh, song you should expect. It, uh, I think few of the track in the album should relate to that, and that is where my main strength is. Okay. Yeah, okay. and um, type of music... I think uh, 50% of the tracks in the album, um, I don't want to dec- disclose the number of the track that you'll be expecting, yeah. but um, 50% of it is, I call it Afro Focus. Oh, wow. I've never yeah. heard that. Yeah, Afro, Afro Focus. Focus. Yeah, Focused. Wow. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> a new <laughs> genre. Yeah, Afro <laughs> Focus. Any features? Like, who are we expecting? <sighs> really <laughs> it's not something you want to yeah it's not something i really want to disclose but let me get that clear because i did going to be for now just. for now there might be future okay there might not be any big name on it of course if i intend i intend if i intend to future my big concern every day is um promoting big name is like adding wealth to the big man so the rich get richer right mm. So I think uh, if I should focus on featuring, my strength should be on upcoming, the unknown. I want them to make it to the album, possibly. So it should be an avenue. Wow. Wow. (laughs) That's great. (laughs) That's great. This has actually sparked up my eagerness for the album. Yeah, you know, people will be like, okay... um, People be like, oh, no, I want this album to make it. I want this album to be known and everything. So I got to feature this big name in the album. This, I think that's the main strategy. Featuring big names to me is like you want to promote yourself alongside them. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Use but them even, to shine. Yeah, but yeah. you want to use them to shine. So even if I'm not known, I should be known alongside the unknown also. Yeah. So that two of us will just go. So that we now have within a short period of time, all the within the next generation, we should have new name computing with the old names. Yeah, you get to cover more areas too. As well. Yeah. Aside just uh making great record, I I, I just feel like the main intent should be to make a great song. If I was if I'm supposed to make a um uh a song with you, I think uh the first thing that should come to mind is at the end of the day, it will be a good fit and we'll be able to make like a good record. Then I think the other add-ons to the stuff is the fact that you get to tap into my own fan base and I get to tap into your own too. And then at the end of the day, it helps the song like reach out to more more people. I want to ask you this like real quick. 
I know it's been long, like very long, but then uh, you can you tell us about your experience with uh, Makoyo when you were actually making those songs? Do you have uh, very good memories of? Okay, I wish I could remember everything. Uh, first and foremost, is a great producer. Of course, someone I was very eager, excited, and I was happy when I first met him. Okay, and I was welcome. First, this guy is simple. How did you meet? Well, uh, a friend of mine, I called him Big Samo. Okay. Yeah. Big guys. Yeah. Big <laughs> Samo. Big <laughs> Samo. <laughs> big T. Yeah. <laughs> big Makoyo. <Yeah. laughs> and he did a big album. And I, yeah, it, and it was a big album. <laughs> you know, just it's just this one called here, one called there. I was here in Bauchi, started recording some few songs, and um, one time he was like, why don't you come to Abuja? Let's okay. see how we can hit you up with some radio presenters, promoters, here and there and see how we can get you some shows then star plus was still trending yeah and i don't think they have dropped they have even dropped their first album then they have just about three tracks they were still promoting and my okay. friend called me over to abuja you don't tell me that i've been in, in, <laughs> I've been in this industry <laughs> trust me yeah. if not for anything i would tell people i've paid my dues true true you don't have to say it yeah I've paid my dues. <laughs> people know yeah people i, I know. met my Koyo before star plus dropped their first album wow I wow. think then the highest recording tracks they have were three. They have not even recorded a video yet. Wow. So I went to Abuja uh, via a call after my friend called me to see how we can get connected and start doing this thing. So he was picking interest in me and I was okay with that. So we went. And now we met with these uh, guys at a club to talk here and there. Like, hey, hey guy, I can hook you up another big producer if you record your song, any other producer, any other radio presenter, any other promoter would like to work with you so long as your song is good. Mm. and everything i was like no wahala. so i intend to spend like just two three days in abuja then i extended it to a week and along the line next call one two appointment the first day i made uh mccoyo i think soul e soul e was there too so wow. 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 so we made it from bauji we just talk so hey guy i would love to record uh, some song with you if you could produce me at an affordable price that i can afford mm. and everything I was like, no problem. Are you ready now? I said, I don't know what it means to be ready since I don't know how much you charge. Mm. I was like, okay, we're not going to talk now. I know you didn't come to Abuja for this, but if you go back home, you're ready, just call me, we talk. Mm. And when I call him, he give me a good price. Then I compare because it's kind of like if you record one song, it's this amount. If you record two, you get less. If you record three, you get less mm. and everything. So a very good offer was offered to me and I was like, okay, let's have a deal. I'm going to record a 12-track album with you, which I will pay. Mm. Let me know what's your base. And I was okay with the price. Yeah. Mm. So I dropped 50%. We started. I will go to Abuja record like two, three songs, come back, everything. We finished the project, everything. I even shot a video with wow. a guy called uh, from the same album. Mm. Before I even, re I have never released even single track from that project. Wow. I still have it. The wow. video of that album I think uh, one track I shot video of way back, like 12, 14 years ago, cost me about 750 and I was doing this single-handedly. Wow. I still wow. have the video. At that time? Yeah, 750. And you haven't released any? Never. That's huge. <laughs> Can we have an exclusive view or listen? <laughs> Just inside the store. It's, go it's going to be in the lost. <laughs> if wow, possible wow, yeah wow. this is this is quite interesting yeah you seem to be like uh uh so bent on your craft how's your process like how do you come about the songs because you seem to be like a very very hard working person you make a lot of records you you want to do more you're hungry yeah you know uh to me i don't know how the society perceive it Mm. But uh, one thing I know before now, you know, there is one thing you do about growing. You keep learning. Yep. People change. Sometimes I watch, uh, so I, 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 I saw some posts on Facebook, Instagram. People will be like, the new me, mm. the me today and everything. So you keep changing. Before now, it take me a long time to write songs. Okay. But since I'm a contemporary artist, I, I observe my environment before I write. I think 
And another thing I don't do is I don't sit down now and just say, hey, I want to write a song. Okay. I don't do it. I write songs based on how I perceive them. So since I concentrate to monitor what is happening around me, mm. these days it's very easy for me to write song. Okay. So I just I, I, I can just <laughs> I can just listen to a news. Mm. I can just watch an entertainment program. Mm. I can just watch a pay per view. I can just uh, read through a, a flyer, handbill, and before Boom. you know it, something is in my mind. And I try to see how that's, I put it. Because since music currently is the only medium I can send my message, writing music is the simplest and the easiest thing that ever come to my anytime I'm ready. That's artistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah, artistic. On the norms. That's it. Yeah. What are the type of music you listen to? You seem to be vast and Yeah, you said it all. I'm vast. I listen to all kind of music and I can write all kind of music. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit difficult if you think, uh, if anyone thinks they can define me to a particular style of music. I can do all kind of music. Can you rap? But not to that. Yeah, I can rap. That's what I start. Okay. I started uh, rapping, I then I quit. to his rap songs. <laughs> yeah, I started rapping, then I quit, and I don't think I'm going back to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not rapping again. I, I won't rap. I won't rap again. Why? <laughs> okay. I have my reason. Um, and I don't intend to keep it to myself. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we know? Listen, <laughs> you know, I, I, I try to get to the grassroots of rap music. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know if I perceive it wrong, mm. but I know it's a normal communal um, neighborhood stuff where rap, to my own view, originated from battle, neighborhood battle. Mm. You have to start from the grassroots and gradually you keep winning, winning, and you come to the top. Mm. And that's how you become a king in your neighborhood. Rap, irrespective of what you are saying, okay. that one is different. So the battle aspect of rap is part of the thing that makes me, even though you can choose not to do the battle of it, but not deviating or running away from where it originated. Yeah. Right, so the battle aspect of it is what I don't like. And sometimes the more I try to write rap, I see it I, like, if you're not careful, everything you're going to be saying or talking about is... If you're not careful, someone can pick you for an offense. I don't know if you're right, if you're getting me right. Yeah, I get it. If you're not careful from what you're saying in your rap song, you can easily have a response from another rapper because they pick offense. So I I I don't want to I don't I don't want to start doing this and have another person responding to me. If someone at all is going to respond to me, I want someone to respond to me that I say the truth mm. about society. Okay. About society, my society, about the world which I am also living in. Not someone to just pick an offense from the same neighborhood simply because I said the truth. So I avoid that and I so much believe by doing that I'm not going to be having that kind of response and I will be at the um, level where I'm comfortable. Get. Okay. That's quite an explanation for not rapping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, wow. You don't like rap battle. So that's the bottom line. Or you don't like beef. No, people, yeah. People perception about rap is what I don't like. It's, you, you can't do rap easily. You must hit on other people's toes. And that is how people <laughs> perceive rap. Okay. That's how the people perceive rap. That's, In my that's own the culture. view, that's the culture of hip hop. Yeah, so I don't want to get into that. There's, there's, there's a lot of uh, um, beef and there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding between people and artists and and people that are involved in this thing, uh, this entertainment that uh, we are involved in. Yeah, that are not rappers too. So I just feel like people can actually have grief. They can have misunderstanding. They can have beef outside of rap. The fact that um, hip hop or rap is competitive in its nature and its form, I still feel like there's a lot of people that are actually involved in the culture and they do rap music and they've never had any beef, sort of, and they are cool with people. Even if you make uh, music that is not rap, it is possible that there are people outside that would not agree to what you're saying and you might pick offense and they will respond. Yeah, but uh, right now with the kind of music I, I am currently uh, putting all my strength in, definitely the kind of people that will respond to me are the kind of people that I want to respond. Okay, you don't want rappers. 
to respond to you. <laughs> and if, if, in, in fact, if anybody in the entertainment res, uh, industry yeah. will waste his time to respond to my music, it's a waste of time because I will definitely act silent. But, but uh, you say beef sells. Beef sells. I if I controversy in general. Controversy yeah, sells, sells generally. Yeah. So now, even if I'm going to be controversial, not with an entertainer like myself, I'm not going to respond. You know, in the entertainment industry, there are, there are situations whereby artists will agree to create a con- controversy. I won't agree it's to that. Like a gimmick. It's, it's not. <laughs> I don't like that kind of gimmicks. I don't know. That's like that. that's trash. That's trash. <laughs> you are free because PR. because there is there is one thing with for the PR. That that is one thing for the PR. Trust me, people are are, on, are not the people you know before now. Just ten years ago, the young deal you see on the street these days understand what is happening in the industry. Mm. Okay. All right. So I'm telling you, do or die. There might be a time that the real beef will occur and the other person will break the ice. But look at this guy. Who I promote after agreeing that we have a temporary or an agreed beef to promote him. And now he's on wheels, he's getting at me. So all these things can, can bounce back. I want it to be real. So anything fake, I'm not gonna be involved. I don't think is is uh people do it like you said, but I don't think it's really necessarily important for you to just create gimmicks off of just uh fake stuff. Well I've just, seen it. Just, people just actually do it. Yeah, that's why I'm it's saying real. it's real. Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> it's fake, <laughs> not real. <laughs> it's fake. I mean, I mean, the situation happens. Yes, that. Yeah, I'm not disputing the fact that it, <laughs> it, it actually happens, but I don't think it is. You don't really need it. Do. Yeah, you don't really need okay. it. If you make good record, people will respond to your record. One hundred, and trust me, even if you are gone, you're still going to be remembered for yeah, your good um, record. Intellectual dream, and um. Do you re- do you have like other people like artists? You have in signed artists, or is it just you and you and okay. only you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or do you uh, have plans to like okay, um, have other people? Trust me. On board? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Before now, mm. I was thinking if I'm going to put my energy on other artists like myself. Yeah, who I feel I can easily my presence or attach being attached to them can create a platform for them to go somewhere. Yeah, that's on the business level. Then I later tell myself that myself, I have not even gotten the necessary things I need. Yep, not to talk of picking someone to push them. So I am going to fo- currently focus my strength on myself until I get to a certain point where I'm comfortable. I'm currently not putting in energy on any other person. But it's not something that is going to take very long time. I have okay. other artists that I'm putting my eyes on. I'm monitoring them. Such so even if they don't show themselves, I will present an offer to them. Such very as? Soon. Such as? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to blow their mind and I don't want to weaken their own hustle. So let them yeah. keep pushing. Okay. Maybe it yeah. will it will even <laughs> ease <laughs> my stress of promoting them when the time is right. Okay. Okay. So now if I mention names and um uh they happen to be listening to this. It is it is uh is it actually intellectual dream entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. Is it only music or what other No entertainment. In general. Entertainment in general. So they're going to be like movie. Intellectual dream entertainment intend to be in movie modeling, um, yeah, yeah, movie music modeling. For yeah. now, otherwise we intend to cover the general aspect. But you know, trust me, if you said you're going to do all entertainment, is too wide. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, but for now, I know the next is going to be movie. Soon. Okay. That's you you made mention of uh you're working on your first album, right? And then looking back the at first album to be released. Looking back okay. at the timeline, there was a, a time. I think uh, twenty nineteen during this election period, there was a project you released 
voters under the voters ride project was that an album or just another single release uh i don't want to call that an album it's just a vo- i call it just vote right project and uh, since i'm an entertainer i use music to reach out to the people mm. so everything about that i don't call it album what makes it less of an album because of what you're talking about yeah because of what i was talking about and you know there is one thing that's like a project just for the moment okay 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 i get there's one thing it's a project just for the moment because after election and everything you never hear that song again well, so it's, I, it's a project just for the moment i do listen to the song though i do listen to it okay and well, it's, it's out on blogs i think and it's going to be there for you for you, for your lifetime <laughs> there <laughs> about <laughs> but, but, but it's seasonal it's a seasonal stuff or is uh what do you call these four years tenure right yeah it's kind of like a tenure thing and sometimes it get hard like 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 two three months to election i think and it's it's still an album maybe not just a major album okay accept it <laughs> <laughs> it's an album it's, but it's it was not a, a major album yeah and, yeah. and it's timeless yeah, yeah. any other election time it comes up it's still relevant because it you, you're talking about voters right yeah how to exercise your your Vote. right as a citizen so I still feel based on how it was presented at the time it was presented as an album. So I don't okay. know maybe you made a change of mind you don't want to enlist it as an album on their your discography. <sighs> <laughs> let's so let's let, let's settle this. <laughs> Accepted is an album but um I don't know. Accept let's it. Let's call it's it an, an EP tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> extend that play, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. During this pandemic, what, what, uh, there's an artist that released a po- body of work, Pandemic mm. EP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for the moment. Yeah. It's also um, for the moment because... Well, it was e- a project. EP. Yeah, it was. It's a... Pro- uh, um, a lot of people now shy away from album. <laughs> We have so many EPs. Yes. So many EPs. Yes, a, a lot of artists shy away from I, album. They prefer to just say project, you know, because even um, like people that do actually mixtapes, mm. originally, I f- uh, the culture of putting out mixtape was just you getting other people's beats and try to kill samples. it. Samples. Yes, and get samples here and there and try to kill it. Basically, not original produced songs. That's the culture, but then people make original songs and still call it EP, uh, um, mixtapes. Mixtapes. Yeah. So I feel like, especially when they're not selling it, so they just tag it like mixtape. Maybe it's going to get like um, low budget promotion <laughs> and not going to have like the push <laughs> that an album would uh, have. So yeah, the creative yeah. process and everything. Yeah. So I th- I th- I feel like. It's very similar <laughs> to what Big T is saying. Maybe something like that. Yes. Because I, do, I don't like think that. you are going to promote the songs now. There's no election. But I think a very People similar. that have it will have it. But then when the election is back, we we'll definitely have to visit the song because <laughs> it, there's a message in the song and then people no. really need to listen to the message. Some, some people were not... We're not uh, 18 years, so they they can't vote. But after four years, they could and they need the message. Probably mm. they're not paying attention during the last election, and yeah, right, yeah. And maybe subsequently they would. So and they will have to listen to the song. So hopefully they will. And I intend to visit the whole album, the whole um, project again. The whole like, album. The whole project. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, the whole project. I intend to visit I it again. <laughs> we have agreed that it's an album. So it's an album. We have agreed. <laughs> no, this is no again. <laughs> we have agreed that it's an album. Um, yeah, and I it features a lot of uh, dude though, because I remember Andy Baturi, Andy Baturi was oh. on the album. Yeah. Uh, uh Boc two was on the album. C Man was on the album. Uh, who again? There is this the, guy from Bauchi, Shalele. Yeah, legendary uh, artists in Bauchi. They were on the project. Yes. They were on the project, yeah. Mm. I wanted to ask again, what was your view on politics, Nigerian politics? Uh, sometimes 